My epic cape that pisses off everyone. Goths support Trump. And apparently Satanists support Trump too, because it was me, Stacy, and we met another dude. Yeah. There's actually some Satanists with standards. You support Trump. <laughs> I wore this shirt. God, can you even see it? This is gonna be awkward. I don't even know if you can see it all. That shirt to the rally. And I, initially I like to put writing on the back, especially if it's something that people actually read. And I assume most Trump supporters, if they actually support Trump for legitimate reasons, besides just being a GOP groupie, they actually do read. <laughs> so I decided I didn't want to put it on the front, but I put it on the back. And... Then I just realized, I'm like, God, I can't even take a really good picture with it. Uh, but there is some me some media. I mean, I didn't see his tag or anything. I, he had a tag. I didn't read it. Uh, but he wanted to take a picture of the back of my shirt. And I was carrying a constitution. It's a black book with red writing on it. So it matched that. And I had, like, the red makeup and stuff because I had to be monochromatic, of course. But uh, I decided I wanted to make a different different uh, shirt and I think it's really cool how like there's Mexicans for Trump or whatever different you know little groups that are for Trump and so I looked on to see if on Instagram if there was hashtag goths for Trump I figured there to me it makes sense that there should be goths for Trump you know why unless you're into the cyberpunk thing which I guess would be kind of the industrial kind of rivet kind of thing a lot of classic or romantic kind of Goth styles or some of like the just uh, like aristocrat kind gets a lot of its style or aesthetics from Victorian era or like late Victorian era styles and just the time period of that being in it's it's not necessarily it's supposed to be like a modest thing but don't get fetish goths and like the baby not baby bats but like the baby doll goss mixed with the classic traditional romantic goss thing. That's what I'm referring to. That's the majority. I, even though I argue that the industrial is kind of, kind of taking over. That's the stereotype for the scene. To have decor that matches that aesthetics and to also have those really nice Victorian coats, the corsets, the bodices, the hoop skirts, unless you get it from China. The cheapest one I got was like 25 bucks. And it's not that great, and I I don't see a lot of uh, my friends when I tell them I got it from China. They're all like, oh wow, China has those? So that means they pay real prices. Or they're entrepreneur or, you know, freelance seamstresses. And if you, if those people support Bernie Sanders, I'm confused because essentially he's going to be go, uh, causing more taxes on small businesses, essentially. And more government and more, I guess, just rules, regulations. For example, here in Wenatchee, we have Apple Blossom Food Fair. It's down there at the park. And usually, and it's been a growing thing, with uh, Neptune being in Pisces and people getting more into art, There, last year there was tons of freaking tents with all kinds of stuff. Like, and it, some of them were, you know, just a couple, like, old ladies that, you know, how, know how to burn, you know, uh, do calligraphy on wood and burn it into wood and make little phrases and stuff. Like, there was all kinds of really cool stuff to look at. This year, there's nothing. In fact, I was going to get a booth down there for, like, my astrology readings and just have some of my teas and my jewelry out. But they not only, and I was cool with paying, you know, for the vendor spot and the fees and everything. They wanted me to get a business license. They wanted me to have some sort of insurance for said business, just in case, I don't know, if the tent falls on you or something. And then they required certain, certain um, parameters, like you have to have this big of a tent, you have to have this business license, you have to fill out all of the stuff for said business license and all the different forms that they had. By this specific date, you only can do it this time, and it was months and months in advance from Food Fair, which is right now in May. So, my guess is, is that a lot of those people 
didn't want to apply for a business because it's not a business, it's a hobby. Like, seriously. So there's nothing down there. Imagine that business entrepreneur-wise. If you were doing freelance, is it that big of a stretch to think that maybe like the, you know, more of the socialist or I'm not even talking about socialist, but, but democratic, bigger government kind of thing wouldn't eventually crack down on freelancers and make them actually establish themselves as businesses. If that's being said, then you're going to have excessive amounts of certain fees because you have business. You'll also be required to pay a higher, you know, the one pay all system for insurance, essentially, as, as far as I understand. So, in theory, every goth, almost every goth, unless you're like lucky and like you're, you know, an elder goth was like your aunt or something, you either get creative for your attire or you have a decent paying job, corporate job, that's where corporate goth comes from, to pay for said expensive clothes. Or you're a fetish goth and you look like trash. Or you're a baby bat slash fetish goth and then you just get lucky and find something every once in a while on eBay. That sort of thing. So, I don't understand why there's not more goths that, that are for Trump. That's for less government. Figuring out how to bring more manufacturing jobs. I would think that that would be like a goth wet dream. Uh, manufacturing job? I mean, I get to work a consistent 9 to 5 without sitting in front of a cubicle or dealing with all this other stuff. And I could just sit there in a dark factory and assemble things or check things. It's like, I don't have to go out in the sun or anything like that. I could just sit here and be antisocial and, you know, take my lunch with me to work. Or even those, some of those factory jobs have graveyard shifts. I mean, I could actually sleep during the day and make enough money and still put retirement away and still be able to afford my, my clothes now. That's so awesome. And, you know, I just think that's really, it's, it's really funny and interesting um, that there's so many hashtags or there's so many people posting the hashtag goths for Bernie. And I think actually the goth community has dropped me the quickest out of any social group or subculture I've been involved. Because in. I always have my clashes with them. So I think it's funny and I swear there has to be more goths out there that are for Trump. I actually just got finished making this shirt. It's actually still a little wet. But I mean, they're Walmart like dollar, two dollar tank tops. And you know what? At the Trump con the Trump rally, not one of those vendors was selling tank tops. Shame on you, capitalism. You let me down. I went up to every one of those booths that kept saying, come on, I'll give you a deal on a shirt. I'm like, it's made out of really heavy cotton and you have no tank tops. Not one. There was even apparently a family, uh, you know, booth. Basically it was uh, an entire family that created the shirts and then printed them out themselves. You could tell that they were, you know, they were, it's not that they were bad quality, but it, it just wasn't done by a graphic designer. And I was like, even those people let me down. Make freaking tank tops. And if anybody actually likes this, especially goss, I will start making them. Granted, it is fabric paint, but I mean, it looks handmade. It fits with the, you know, punkish culture thing. But yeah, so I'm going to actually see how this responds because uh, in Trump in general, uh, in Wenanchi, I have been uh, intimidated, at least when I've been in my car playing the song. And I, I already made a video and told you about, you know, the fuck you people yesterday. And the goth guy in the thrift store over by the convention center in Spokane is actually who's inspiring me to do this. So thank you, whoever the fuck you are, you and your Hot Topic jacket, and your dirty hippie friends. Clearly, I would assume by your hippie friends since they look like the people that were protesting that you guys obviously, and the fact that you freaked the fuck out about my flag, you know, definitely won't be using my hashtag, but I'll be okay, I'll be okay. Video, TV, Gus for Trump. Gus for Trump, me now. Mama, see you. Gas for Trump, me! Can you see Gas for Trump? <laughs>